Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, let's talk about the Iron Age. So you've you've defeated the Elder, you've got all your bronze gear, and you're ready to head off to the swamp. Uh, if you're unless you get super lucky, you're gonna have a tough time with the swamp. I have two games now. I have really struggled to find. A, a, f a fully fleshed out swamp area. I f you'll find little strips, little isolated pockets of swamp, and they'll be good enough for some basic farming. Uh, just you, know, you get your hand on some 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 uh, some of the basic resources that you can get from the the swamp. But they won't have crypts, and if they don't have crypts, then you won't be getting any iron because crypts are where all the iron is located. You have to have your swamp key to get into the crypts. You get that from the elder. Uh, one of the most important things, I think the number one tip for Iron Age, because Iron Age is when you're really going to have to explore. Uh, for Bronze Age, I was fine with this area here. I occasionally piddled over here and piddled up here a little bit, but this mostly got me through the Bronze Age. I didn't start exploring all of this until Iron Age, because I was looking for Swamp, and I wanted to, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to map out my, um, my starter island. I got a little distracted over here. I was able to swim this with a little bit of swim training, and that was kind of neat, and I was hoping there'd be Swamp here, and there wasn't. did find some serpents, and then I got lucky, and I found my vendor, so this is a top priority. Once you get into what I consider the Age of Exploration, which is Swamp Forward, you're looking for that vendor. You need that vendor because you need this belt. It's a thousand gold. It's like 960 or something, but let's just say a thousand gold. Um, it, it increases your carry capacity by 150. Fan fucking tastic. But my number one most important uh, tip is you carry a portal with you like this okay and make sure you have tin wood or an axe to chop wood down with you know uh, but you carry a portal with you and so you name a portal back home I have one named swamp and I have one named two and then I have one named one okay you'll notice this one's unconnected I used one for when I found the merchant and so I just flop down a little housey house and put a one next to it. And now when I want to go buy and sell at the merchant, I just step through number one. And, um, oh, this was this was my search to go find the elder. I had to go to a separate. But anyway, so all of this was searching for a real swamp biome. I found this little teeny tiny sliver. It didn't have any crypts in it. I found this, but the problem with uh, this didn't have, I don't think, I think this had one crypt, but this is really close to the to the plains, and you do not want to be messing with the plains biome this early. And so I carried my portal around till I got here in the swamp, and then let me show you here. I don't want to go into the swamp unfed. Let's get rusted real quick. This will get our health and stuff up real quick. I didn't. Uh, I, I couldn't find a good swamp biome, but I did find, uh, I got Bone Mass's location from that one crypt over yonder here, okay? And it told me that Bone Mass was way over here, but that's a good piece of information because Bone Mass, as far as I know, and I think this is true, Bone Mass is always located, and it makes sense, he's always located in a large, very productive swamp biome. So if you can't find good swamp, just find one or two crypts, hit the runes inside, they'll show you where bone mass spawns, and then that'll fix your your um, your your problems, hopefully anyway. Um, now once you're in the swamp, one of the most important things you're looking for is turnips. You're looking for turnip plants. They're yellow. Okay. And you want to make sure, I didn't do that right, 
I thought there was an archer in there. Son of a bitch. Okay. You want to make sure you find a turnip plant. Okay. What the fuck? He hit me from way over there. Son of a bitch. Anyway. Okay. So, once you find a crypt, what I like to do is... I don't, I don't, I don't have the fixings on me. Okay. I'll, I'll show you. I'll just talk you through it. When I get into a crypt, I drop a, I drop a fire right there. And I put about four wood into it. Okay. And then that way... Well, this is a... Go ahead and swing. Go ahead and swing. There you go. Alright. What? There's another one? Oh, damn. Let's just drag her everywhere. Uh. God damn. There's a lot of dragger in this motherfucker. Let me see here. Get more weapons out here. Well, I'm not hitting him very hard. Now well, let me get out of the damn water. That's better. Is there a spawner or something in there? Alright, so, anyway. Let's say... Let me clear this hallway here. Okay. So, there's a hallway that way. Okay, so, let me show you. you these muddy scrap piles are where you get your iron. Now, the problem is the blobs. I mean, I'm not saying the Draugr aren't dangerous, but the blobs have a PBAOE poison attack. And they can they can connect through this. Okay? They can come right through here and hit you with it. So you got to be really careful when you're clearing this doorway. Don't clear it out all the way. Um, get it about here. You, and then I take out one side, just like this. And now, you can get your bow, and you can start working on the blobs, and you can start missing shots. <laughs> and you want to leave it like this. Get the blobs dead, right? And then take out one side, and carefully reconnoiter that room. He's not going to swing. Okay. And then that's how I clear crypts. Okay. I've just very carefully and slowly worked my way past the muddy scrap piles. Uh, uh, a, a poison resist mead is not a bad idea. Okay. And like I said, you put your, you put your fire right there. And then what I do, you can see over there how I, how I do things. I jump up on the back here, okay, and then I flop down, yeah, let me go get my fixings and I'll show you exactly what I do, ah, uh, stupid bone fragments, and you don't need a ladder up there, that's where we just fought bone mass, you don't have to do it, you can make the jump up, okay, and I make a work table, a chest and a portal. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. You dumb shit. Ugh. You can't do that because then you can't break everything else down. We'll break this down. Break this down. Break this down. Pick up our, pick up all of our resources because that that crypt is finished. I already cleared it out, so I'm done. And then you come. Running over here, man. Let me get my. I shouldn't have my stuff in my hands. So I'll run faster. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'll talk about that later once we get the planes. But so we're up. Right. Okay. So we get here. We've got our crypt that we want to clean out. So we'll just put down a work table, and then we'll put down a chest. Yes, they will decay. No, I don't care. <laughs> You're not gonna be here that long. And then you jump up. And label it swamp. Now I can't go through it because I'm carrying iron. So there we go. Okay, and voila. Now you can go home. And you can go back and rest. You don't have to carry a shit ton of food on you. Um, it's really nice. So that's how I exploit the the, the swamp. 
in terms of priorities, my first early iron has got to be the stone cutter bench because the stone cutter bench allows you to make the sharpening stone and the sharpening stone allows you to make the grinding wheel and you can upgrade your forge for very cheap very quickly okay and then once you've got your level 5 forge because do, 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 this is a 6 I uh, see here okay so you can see this only requires a level 2 forge so you could make your iron pickaxe right away I eh, you know it's the 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 uh, tier one iron picks axe is not better than because you look here it has a durability of 150 and it does a pierce of 33 right so 150 and 33 so let's look here and the tier three is better okay now once you get it to tier two once you get the iron pickaxe to tier two and then tier three yes it's better so I don't build my iron pickaxe until I have enough iron to upgrade it to at least two, if not three. Okay. Uh, then I want to start thinking about, uh, of course, I want to find the bender. I want to get the belt. And then I want my weapon. I really want my iron weapon. Uh, it's, let me see here. If you look at this, I think it's better. Than your than your fully upgraded bronze. Let me see here, or it's the same. So this is uh, blunt 55, right? And then if we look over here, I didn't do that right. It's better. Yeah. Okay. So I get my I get my iron mace as soon as possible. Now. Once again, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. For now, if you're doing one-handed melee, blunt's the way to go. Okay? Um, and you want your turnip seeds. You want to find them as quickly as possible. And you, you're, you're not going to make turnips for a long time that you're going to eat. You're going to be seeding them out. Okay? So let's say you find... I mean, it took me hours to find one damn turnip plant and that was so that gave me three seeds so you plant those three you get your turnips you take those three turnips and you seed them right back out so now you have nine and then you turn right back around and seed those out and see so here's your turnip seed plants I have been experimenting with uh, walls around my garden and no walls around my garden it doesn't seem to make a difference I think it's this trench I'm gonna plant some some carrots out there and I'm gonna see if I lose them I bet I do in fact, I'm going to do that. Well, I'll do it. Okay. Um, make sure you, you want to get into the... Um, you want to get into the swamp tier food as quickly as possible. So you want to get your guts, your entrails, and you need to start picking just every single thistle you see. I mean, if you can fill up a whole chest of thistle, do it. This is really valuable. Okay, and so you need um, you need raw meat, okay, and thistle, and entrails, and you need to start making carrots. And of course, you're making carrots from the Bronze Age, or you should have been. And so by the time you get to bone mass, you don't want to face bone mass with the lower tier food. You want sausages. You'll need thistle and entrails and raw meat. Uh, sure. Of course, you have to make a cauldron if you haven't. That's 10-10. 10-10? 10? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so you can see here, thistle, raw meat, entrails, turnip stew, raw meat, three turnips. So that's... You'll you'll be on Queen's Jam for a while, but get off it as soon as you can. And, smooth, and you know, I was carrot soup, sausages, Queen's Jam for a while until I got my turnip production going. And then I moved over to turnip stew because Queen's Jam is only a 70. And so this is an 80. And this is a 100. And then this is a 100. So you really want to move up to those better tier. So and then it's just, you know, mining up enough iron to get that to get that sweet 
62 armor factor with all iron gear. Uh, get your shield in shape. This is this is an important upgrade if you're using one hand. I I like to get the mace and the bow before anything else in terms of gear. Okay, so I hold off on the armor because w what I do is I stock up enough enough bronze so that I can take my my bronze armor and hit it. Uh, the, your first upgrade on your forge will let you take these to tier four. And that brings them up to 14 armor factor, which is equivalent to uh, tier 1 iron armor. So you look here, it's 14. Okay. And so it's going to be a while before you can f uh, dig up the... God, you need like... I mean, you need 60 to make all three pieces here. So look here. So that's 60. And I think... Think, I think they're 5 for the first tier, but then I think they're 10 and then 15. So, you know, you need 16, you're going to need 60, 75 iron to take your iron armor uh, to make it better than than tier 4 bronze. So, I prioritize mace and bow and shield before going for the armor. But I do want the armor, obviously. Uh, you know, you want to get this brazier going, and you're eventually going to want your forge bellows that means you need chains okay you'll need i think it's five let me see here yeah you'll need five chains you get chains from the chests in the crypts in the swamp and from killing wraiths wraiths spawn at night in the swamp and they i think they tend to spawn around structures abandoned structures so i i note them on my map so when i'm looking for wraiths I can go back and find them. Okay. And that's really... You, you, you'll notice I haven't messed with stone. I... I, I just... Eh. I don't really need it. Uh, one fermenter is fine. You need to be making your meads. Your stamina mead. Your healing mead. And your poison resist mead. This is a, this is a must. A must for the swamp. You You need that early on. And that'll mean you need... No, not frost. Where's poison? I'm looking right at it, aren't I? There we go. Okay, so you're going to need necktails and thistle. These are the two things that'll trip you up. Okay? So stock up on those necktails. And I mean, seriously, every single thistle plant you see, stop and grab it. You'll kick yourself for not grabbing all the thistle. Uh, you'll notice these trees here. I plant... Uh, groves of trees in handy locations next to the base, not too close, so when trolls get here, I can I can um, hit them with the bow easily. But a really easy run, and I like to I like to stack them really close together because they will fall and hit each other. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna stand by my early analysis. Three beehives is plenty. In fact, you can probably get away with two. You know, uh, I have I have plenty of honey. Look at this. That's that's more than enough. I don't I I, I don't see the need for gobs and gobs of of honey. Uh, beehives. I just. Eh. Um. And then make sure you're training your. You know, go back and go into your training, uh, burial crypt from time to time. Keep that shield skill. Because it will lag behind your weapon skill, and if you want to, if 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 you want more than one weapon skill, you're really gonna need the the, the training boulder in the middle of your, you know, it 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 does work, you know. I mean, look, let's see, where's my there's my clubs? It's at 60. It won't take me that long to hit 61. Uh. I swear, I got skill gain off of wooden arrows just sitting here and shooting wooden arrows into this rock. And then I stopped getting skill gain from it. I don't understand completely what's going on. So, uh, if anybody knows of a way to, to train bow, that would be... I, I thought I had it figured out, and then it stopped working, and... I don't know what the hell is going on. So, yeah, get your get your comfort level up, get that brazier up.
get the dragon thrown down. Uh, now that I'm moving into the mountain biome, I want my I want my dragon bed, dragon bed, and I want my um my wolf carpet, and that should get me up to I think 14. I think I could be brain farting about something. I I, I always do. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, like I said, now I'm. I'm getting ready to. I've I've found some good sized mountain mountain areas, and I'm gonna start very carefully tiptoeing in there because those those packs of wolves. I, I don't I don't fear the golems and the drakes, but the wolves they can. That I've died twice to wolves, so I I really I have a very healthy respect for especially one star wolves. I think one star wolves are more dangerous than uh, death mosquitoes non-star death mosquitoes and um and um fullings non you know uh, base tier fullings two star fullings they're the most dangerous thing i've encountered so far in this game they hit for over 200 or right at 200 i had a two star fulling one shot my dumb ass and i was in i was in max tier wolf armor and I had dark had a dark metal shield and dark metal weapon. I jumped to get away from a, a horde and I landed next to a two star fulling. I didn't know it was two star fulling. And that son of a bitch hit knocked me over the center field wall. I mean he just he he one shot my ass and I had like I don't know. I, I was buffed up to like one fifty or one forty health. And he just punk and I'm dead. Like son of a bitch. So yeah, yeah, anyway. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you next time.